Yo, what is poppin', guys? Guys, I have another Genshin Impact video today. We're gonna to be talking about the Albedo banner and why it was such a good thing for Genshin Impact and the future of the game when Zhongli just wasn't, okay? So let's just get right into it. The first thing I do wanna talk about, just briefly out of the way, the four stars on Albedo banner is amazing. That's not the main point, though, okay? The four stars are amazing and that is great. You want those kind of characters on a banner. The more desirable the characters, the more likely you're gonna pull on it, right? Like, even convince me. I just did two pulls on the banner for it just because I wanted a super and I got really lucky but again that's that's how they make their money mihoyo if you're listening don't put barber on your banners <laughs> put put Bennett on there put fish all on there put those kind of characters okay the characters people want to see that's gonna get you more money than putting someone like barber but now that that's out of the way let's talk about albedo himself and why he's such a success okay so here's the thing about albedo right he is not a seven star venti level must pull god you have to have him otherwise you suck at the game right he's not he's not venti level right and that's great that's that's amazing we need more characters more five stars like him who are not completely bust so here's the thing venti deluke i love them to death i want a venti on the rewind i'm absolutely pulling a venti because i'll admit i want busted characters because it makes the game it makes me better at the game right i want characters who are busted it makes the game more fun but here's the thing if you don't get characters who are busted and you get characters that are underpowered, they make the game less fun. So the more characters that are balanced, the better for the future of the game. Because that means at a certain point, most of the characters will be, you know, well-rounded, well-balanced. And then it won't be like, hey, this character's bad, this character is a must-pull. All the characters will be on the even playing field, so all of them will be equally fun. So, that's how I look at it, at least. So, Albedo is great, he's versatile. Another thing about him, you could run him on and many different teams. He's not selfish at all. You could have, you just pop his E, and then you could just swap out. He's kind of like... Like Fischl. He's like geofficial is how I like to look at him, right? So he's great on pretty much any team, okay? Any team you could run Fischl on, which is most teams, he's great on. And he's even great on teams you couldn't run Fischl on if you're trying not to run overload with someone like Deluke. Hey, you could run Albedo there. He's not going to give you that overload knockback because he's not an Electro. So that's another pro of, of Albedo. He's actually maybe slightly more versatile than Fischl, although Fischl does do more damage at C6. That's another thing. But again, pros and cons. He has his utility, he has his shields from being a Geo, so those are other things you can look at, right? Albedo is well-rounded and versatile. And here's another thing about characters like Vinti, right? Vinti is, I love him, okay? I absolutely love Vinti. Again, I'm planning on pulling for him when he reruns. I spent so much effort trying to pull on him because he's such a cool character, but he's not good for the game, okay? The more characters they have like Venti that are broken and completely trivialized mechanics, that's how you get power creep. If you release more Ventis and more characters like Venti, then that's power creep, okay? But here's the opposite side. You had characters like Zhongli who were disappointing at launch. Like I said it at the very beginning, Zhongli was a disappointment at launch. He's not bad. But as a 5-star, he's a disappointment. So more characters like Zhongli, people get riled up. You saw all the controversy and all the backlash for Zhongli. And that's also not good for the game. So Vinti, not good for the game, although he's great, right? Zhongli, not good for the game, although he's great, right? He's They're both, they're both bad for the game, but they're both cool characters still, so don't get me wrong, okay? But we, I'm, what I'm saying is that we need more middle ground characters who are, who are good, solid, you know, S-tier in their role, right? But, like, overall... They're good, okay? You can use them anywhere, anytime, but they're not gonna break the game, and they're also not gonna make you regret pulling for them. So, yeah, guys, if you if you agree with me, hey, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree, tell me why I'm wrong. But that's just my opinion. Again, if we get more more banners like Albedo, I'd be very very happy. That's exactly what I want to see. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. Guys, Zerker out. Peace and booyah.